Today we're going to be doing a short video on how to set up for uh, sampling mercury in air via NIOSH method 6009. First off, you want to make sure you'll be wearing some gloves, some nitrile or uh, uh, latex gloves should be fine for handling the, uh, the tubes. The tubes will come in this uh, plastic container from the laboratory and you'll want to uh, Take out your tube. Uh, there's, it comes with some plastic uh, end caps to protect the tube on a return trip to the, uh, to the laboratory. And you want to remove those plastic end caps. Uh, there's a directional indicator as to which way the flow is going, so you want to make sure you find that and make sure you're going to be hooking up your tubing to the pump so that the flow is going in, in the right direction. Uh, you'll need a pair of pliers uh, to break off the ends of the tube uh, here. Uh, you want to do both ends of the tubes and you want to do just the very tip of the tube. Just like that. And uh, one thing you don't want to do is uh, uh, do it too much because then you'll have uh, breakage in the tube and you can uh, impact your uh, sampling event. So uh, at this point your tube is, re is ready to hook up to your sampling pump and your sampling pump will have a piece of tubing coming off the uh, pump and you want to put that uh, tubing so that uh, the flow is coming through the pump through the tube at the correct direction. So in this tube the arrow is pointing that way so you want the pump is going to pull air through the tube not push it. So and uh, so this will be hooked up to your personal sampling pump and per the method the sampling pump is should be set to a flow rate of 0.15 to 0.25 liters per minute. Okay, and then once your sampling event is done, whatever duration you need to collect the sample, uh, you're going to disconnect the tube from the uh, from the sample from the sample pump, and then you reattach your plastic caps to protect the tube uh, back to the laboratory for shipment. And at that point, you want to also fill out your sampling label and tie, attach that to the tube. And then on the chain of custody, you'll need to fill out uh, the areas that have uh, your uh, flow rate uh, and uh, duration of sampling. Uh, the laboratory will need to confirm that so we can calculate a total volume of sample. Uh, that, will needed, that will be needed uh, for the laboratory to for, uh, report final results in micrograms per cubic meter.